outfit is inspired by the origin of Peruvian culture, the Inca Empire, the largest empire in pre-Columbian America. According to the legend, Manco, Capa, and Mama Oclo, children of the Inti, or son carried the magic staff made of the finest gold where this staff landed would be where they settled to build the Incan Empire. The staff sank in Cusco. This is how their empire began. This outfit's colors represent their importance of gold as a symbol of their god Inti, the, and the turquoise as their symbol of luck and protection. The Inti is represented by the back of Maya's cape.
of the jinetes. Kenya is a proud descendant of a Jalisciente family and has the honor of dancing to tribal music known as folklorico for many years and continues to do so. Thank you, Kenya. Chichimeca, que se inició en el centro de Zacatecas, que fue causada por el descubrimiento de plata. Lucharon para salvar sus tierras, pero no tuvieron mucho éxito. Usaban poca vestimenta por el clima del desierto, basada en piel de animales muertos y plumas de a veces como ropa. También se identificaban por las pinturas que se hacían en el cuerpo y rostro y cargaban lanzas afiladas como herramientas de caza, que es lo que se ve en el traje que lleva Noemi. Ella junto con su mamá tomaron en cuenta varios factores y referencias, entre las cuales res resaltarán la Catrina que se, que se celebra en noviembre, mes en el que ella nació. Agradecemos una pequeña aplicación representada al mariachi y su música. En la parte de frente plasmaron la Minerva la catedral que resalta elementos de templos antiguos. El rebozo representa el centenario de la Revolución Mexicana que se llevó a cabo en el año 2010, el año que ella nació. Y por último, el sombrero resalta la imagen de la Catrina. Y a su vez, una ligera decoración representa a Jalisco. Thank you, Sharon. del hermoso estado de Sinaloa. Esta hermosa danza proviene de la comunidad de Iraquis y Mayos. Este conjunto representa la naturaleza de la tierra mediante el uso de música, movimientos y sonidos. Los atuendos de Evelyn incluyen una colorida cabeza de venado, plumas a su alrededor y los colores de su atuendo que representan los colores de la naturaleza y también lo son las plumas. Cada uno de estos detalles en su atuendo es muy importante y sentimental para los indígenas que nos precedieron, por lo que es una tradición importante para el estado de Sinaloa. wave-like features along the bottom portion of the skirt, representing the ocean's waves. Additionally, she has shells and pearls distributed all along her top to showcase the beauty found within our waters. San Clemente is best known for its vibrant surf culture. Because of its beautiful oceans and weather, San Clemente is the perfect place to relax and enjoy the beach lifestyle, which has inspired her to create this outfit. This is Natalie proudly representing San Clemente. Thank you, Natalie. Janelle Barajas. Janelle's fantasy outfit represents her Mexican heritage. The history behind the famous Mexican game, Lotería, the inventor, Don Clemente Jacques, took advantage of the free marketing tool to mass produce his own version. His first printed version was given to Mexican soldiers when away on duty, which would then get played with their families once they returned home, which made the game's population grow. Loteria is known as an element of family union. To her, this outfit reflects on memories of her playing Loteria. It brings back years worth of great memories playing the game on holidays and family gatherings. 
Saturdays. Thank you, Janelle. Tatiana Necochea. Tatiana's fantasy 
outfit represents her cultural background, displaying cultural factors of the two ethnicities Tatiana was born into, Mexicano and Hungarian. The marigold flowers hold a significance to Mexican culture due to the belief that these flowers help the spiritual world travel back to Earth. Her jeweled top was inspired by the beloved and talented Mexican singer Selena Quintanilla, whose story and music has been impacting Tatiana since her childhood. Tatiana has both the Hungarian and Mexican flags attached to her arms. The wings adorned with trupial bird feathers represent a feather type used in traditional Aztec headdress. Thank you, Tatiana. Culture of 
Aztec warriors. This costume represents strength, beauty, and all her ancestors before her. The, Greek, the Greeks again mix, brings a unique combination of wisdom, grace, and historic roots that go back to significant moments in history. Zoe feels honored and proud to represent two powerful and fierce cultures with such grace and love. Thank you, Zoe. Star. Since she was a little girl, Aleda loved to dance, sing, and act. Her inspiration is to see the smiles on people's faces when she performs. She aims to one day receive her doctorate degree in performing arts and business at Harvard, NYU, or Juilliard. She has seen musicals in New York City, where there is currently 1.4% of Latina women on Broadway today. Aleda's mission is for little girls who look like her get to have the opportunity to see more Latina women on Broadway. Thank you, Aleda. Thank you. 